Now, some of the blood studies that will be relevant for patients who have anemia are hematocrit, hemoglobin, and an RBC count that will be below normal range. Other tests that will be below normal range are serum iron, total iron binding capacity, and serum ferritin levels. Reticulocyte count, however, does increase, and this is due to the immaturity of red blood cells. A bone marrow study will also appear abnormal. In order to see the shape and color of RBCs, peripheral blood smears will be done and in anemic individuals, those said findings will appear abnormal. And lastly, for diagnostic tests, a megaloblastic anemia profile will reveal a decrease in the level of vitamin B12. Wait, don't go just yet. If you like this video and would like to see more, subscribe to our YouTube channel and visit our website to access more great, easy to follow videos. Don't worry, Nursing Study Buddy will be posting free videos for our YouTube subscribers and a wide variety of snippets from our video library at nursingstudybuddy.com. Nursing Study Buddy was designed for those nursing students and current nursing students who are struggling with their educational experience. So if you're a pro, whiz, Einstein, or even Stephen Hawking's nephew and have no trouble studying and acing your tests and quizzes, nursingstudybuddy.com is not for you. With new videos being added every week, what are you waiting for? Visit nursingstudybuddy.com and sign up for a one day free trial and put some free time back in your life by cutting down your study time while improving your test scores. We'll see you there.